Hey my YouTubers and thank you for tuning into the Dice Fat Toy View. I've got a haircut today, but today we're going to be taking a look at two Woodward toys. But there's also another product here that I actually want to show you to you there as well though. So there's actually one product as well, and that actually makes up to about three. And actually my hands are completely dry. I have to wash my hands in the morning, so I'm just going to add some cream. And yes, the dice have gone up just one hour forward, so i got a funny feeling that we've just started to lose one hour. Um, but we will get that one hour back from at least around October, I think. But with that being said, however, let's just go ahead and grab the webcam because this toy view is about to start. Here we go. Woo! And um got a funny feeling. It's, it's been quite interesting that SIV is Tony Track, only just Tony Track. Uh, I've got a funny feeling, none of the track master track has been touched so far uh, this month though, strangely enough. Most of uh, actually, in fact the rest of the whole month haven't seen so much of track master track because, you know, whenever I make videos I need to keep them into a, well, very, very, um, I would just say a simplified form without being too complex. So we'll start off the, with the water toys here first because well, we're going to start off with this. It is, of course, our Flip Up Origami British Wildlife Collection Swimming Common Moorhen Small Flock 5 Pack for about £6. There you go, there's the back of the packaging, which looks like that. Oh, look at these moorhens. It looks like they're confronting with each other. And it looks like they're exceedingly territorial and aggressive. By the looks of that, it looks like they're kicking each other with their legs. Obviously, because that's what the breeding season is all about. You have to fight before the next you know, contestant, you know, gets that mate and then you fail. That's pretty much what it is really. You know, it doesn't look too bad. But I got a funny feeling whenever I come in and take a look at what's inside, it's always gonna be like, you know, this similar kind of redesign. And speaking of redesign, look what's happened to the Moorhens. It looks like these guys have gone for some upsizing. Rockies, I would have never thought. Oh, there's a bit of colour difference here on the brown as well. But yes, nevertheless, it looks. Yes, there's, there's some brown missing here that I can actually fix on these guys, but nevertheless, they just look totally amazing. In fact, I should take a look at the other moorhens there. There you go, it says common moorhen right over there. And there's actually loads and loads of other moorhens like that there as well. But what's very important to know is is that to fulfill or to supplement the detailing on the back there they actually folded uh, the back there just to give it a bit of depth on the tail just to look at you know just to look quite realistic though of white as well and there you go it says common moorhen what an amazing looking product to look at eh? very amazing uh, let's move on to another one here there it is there that's another common moorhen here as well they've all got black wings along with the brown here of course it just looks so so amazing and it's just the most amazing thought that you'd find on a moorhen and it's quite funny that with this kind of design it actually looks a little bit bigger than what I would normally see with moorhens they're a lot, bit, little bit more smaller than coots and the head seems to look like well it's got a very very weird redesigned fashion very strange and I've got a funny feeling that's gonna be you know <clears throat> the main feature of Waterbirds today is, is that we're going to have like heads like that in a much more realistic fashion. So that's a nice redesign, I think. Hopefully I should make like maybe five or six of these guys. And yes, if I have a look at... There you go. That's, it's, it's literally the same. I mean, it's, it's just probably the, um, the hue and the value and the shading of black and brown. Probably, I guess. And also the red and the yellow as well on the front of the beak there you go as you can see they've got like a yellow tip on their red beaks and it looks quite nice though actually of course it looks pretty interesting I mean when I thought more hens were all black birds black water birds obviously but uh, whenever I look at them closely they look quite bluish grey or greyish blue I think but I might need a, a bird expert just to you know just to correctify what this is but 
You know what, this is actually quite a nice looking replica of a real species. Uh, anyways, let me just go ahead and put these babies away. And let's move on to um, a Puffer Origami Penguin Couple themed toy. In fact, there'll be more of those toys. Uh, there you go, the Flip of we got me, Penguin Cupboard! Fresh Wards, a clean up Penguin Trio and Motorboat 12 pack, 15 pounds. Actually, that boat does remind me of the boat from Finding Dory. No respect for ocean life! <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the back of the packaging there. There you go. That reminds me of the post credit scene of Finding Dory, right? With that fishing net and the boat. That looks pretty cool. But this time, I think it's a bit more of a freshwater theme because. Well, there's basically koi, if not carp, if not any other freshwater fish species pretty much being involved in the set. So let's take, take a look what we've got. Okay, so we've got some trash, treasure. Yo, well, not really that parody in a sense though, but let's take what we've got. Have we got any more? I think that's about it. Okay, so let's see what we've got though. Uh, let's start off with the penguins first. Of course, yes, we've got a yellow female penguin. It's quite funny, I don't know why there's so many yellow female penguins. Maybe there might be a link or a connection to someone who I... to whoever I know. But there you go, that is a very nice, fantastic looking penguin. And uh, next up, of course, is a red one. I mean, to me, these guys are look quite nicely detailed, apart from the sloppiness. Uh, the other side's a little bit more cleaner, but this side is a little bit more dirty here, I guess. But it looks quite cool. Got a funny feeling I need to add some more detailing of red into the equation, I guess. And we've also got the blue one as well, though. This blue penguin here as well. He looks quite nice. And he also comes with, like, blue cat that you can actually make the penguin wear. Like so. If he was working for the Freshwater Life Institute instead of the Marine Life Institute because this isn't Finding Dory though, but well, it's kind of like Finding Dory, but the fishies in this set are more of a freshwater theme. Plus, we've also got like a fishing net, which I'll have a look at it later on though. I just have to put all of the penguins on the boat at the moment because that's what this put is all about. You all have to respect for water life. Not just ocean life, but also all kinds of waters. Alright, looking pretty nice. It's a bit like a spring clean theme set though, if you ask me. And hey, that's quite nice. And let's take a look at the fishing net. It's quite a nice looking design. Um, but what I've actually realised is, I don't seem to find a hole here. I can't find a hole that seems to, um, how do you say it? Yeah. Probably the, the weakest link of this net. Basically, we've got to check what's inside. Um, I think one weakest link is... I, I'd definitely say it might be the inside. That might be... Well, not so good, because... You know, I've got a funny feeling that net. It's a little bit too... Well, it's... It is what it is, though, but... It's a little bit too too narrow though but there you go you can actually fit in a boot there you go if you want to collect trash instead of fish to clean up the environment there you go and actually got a funny feeling this boot is actually quite neutral because it's got one of the most unusual colors I've used I'd probably say it's like olive green or brown I don't know but it looks quite weird there you go that penguins using a fishing net to retrieve something I believe Looks pretty cool. I uh, don't know if I could pretty much illustrate that <laughs> in the most abstract way. You can actually collect trash. Oops, sorry, I've just hit a red penguin. That wasn't very nice of me. But there's also other trashy thingies as well. There's a plastic bag, very commonly found in oceans, sadly to say, which in a sense is pretty much a very disheartening factor behind what's going on with today. That can put straight into the boat because we're cleaning up the environment aren't we? In, in fact we certainly are and we've also got a green bottle of course I wonder whose green bottle is that could be something relating to alcohol I don't know could be 
some kind of drink that I really don't know of. It might be alcohol, it could, it could be something else. But yes, let's take a look at the other fishies. Let's take a look at the, the rest of the fishies, right? So we've got like a yellow one, and there's a, there's a grey one here as well. <laughs> Looks pretty nice. So we've got all kinds of colours of fish. I don't know if they're koi, but yes, they are quite interesting to take a look at. Yes, we've got a grey fish. And we've also got a koi carp like fish that looks pretty nice and red and white. It looks pretty Japanese coloured as well though. Going by the colours of course. And there you go. It's quite an amazing looking fish. I have to say, in the way I've actually created this toy, it just looks so, so nice. In fact, I can make as many water themed toys so well. Um, let me just put these guys away. Uh, I've got a funny feeling, but maybe the 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 weakest. I think the weakest factor, probably the weakness of this set, would probably be the net because well the net you know it's a bit too narrow there. I don't think well it's about to look like that it's gonna rip apart and that's probably a bad sign that this net is gonna be well seen far much better days and I think that's pretty sad to pretty much put a gripe on it but. That's how I do. I, I often kind of see what's good and what's bad. You know, I think that's very important, you know, whenever you do toy reviews because well, it gives a good balance though. When you put something good and bad on a toy review, that's the spirit behind it though. Well, let's take a look at this product here. This is a Fibber Bobigami. <gasps> oh my goodness me, my apologies. I've never thought of making a Raz. Basic tabletop double hob camping hot stove plate cooking set 12 pack. And it's called a perfect replica. Yes, it's a, yes, of course, it's a perfect replica of a small appliance, but for kids to play with. Um, in it, of course. Let's take a look at the back of the packaging, which looks like that. Oh! I'm making stir fries again, just like with the other products. And uh, looks like we've got mushrooms, we've got broccoli, we've got fried eggs. Yes, and we've also got like, I definitely say chili peppers as well. Yes, I actually forgot to add the chili peppers, but nevertheless, it looks quite cool. Let's see what we've got inside. Okay, so, 13 pounds it costs. Oh, yes! Look at the food goodies inside. Oh, yes! Of course, yes, it is a hot plate, which is pretty much the name to refer to appliances which look like that okay so let's see what we have inside we've got this top piece there and we've also got this bottom piece which actually in a sense whenever you look at it it's actually quite a great pencil case even though technically with that being said it's not looking quite great actually anymore and uh, I don't know how you can actually play with it though but you can actually use your frying pan of course you can actually at this here, you've got two frying eggs. Uh, of course, you've got two of those yolk, egg yolks. Of course, there's nothing on the other side, and that there as well. They all look like that. It actually looks pretty nice though. Whenever I look at these yolks, they look like they're pretty much exactly the same in terms of design and whatnot. I'm gonna fit these babies in. Oh, cooking up nicely. Oh yeah. Got a funny feeling this is actually quite an addictive looking set. This is kind of like the oven set that I did back then after Christmas. Oh, yes, I'm dumping all of that fake fakery. Of course, it's fakery because it's not real food. Of course, we've got a wok. It's basically a, a box in it with two sides that look like handles on either side. But yes, that's what it looks like though. It's a wok. Put that there. And what I also might do is I'm going to add the broccoli. Of course, there's broccoli involved. Yes, of course, what I might do is I might fit in the broccoli. In fact, I'm actually going to put the broccoli in there as well. Got some chili peppers. They look like, um, are these jalapenos or are they cane peppers? Maybe, I don't know, I don't think these are habaneros or jalokia peppers. <laughs> but they look quite nice actually. I love the um the actual design of it. It looks pretty enticing though. You've got some mushrooms here as well. 
Mmm, that's really yummy. I would have never thought I'd be making healthy stuff on a toy. Maybe that's something I need to get with the kids and stuff to make, like, you know, very healthy foods and whatnot, though. But let's just put those vegetables here. Oh, yes, cooking up nicely. That looks pretty nice. There you go. It's a fairly nice looking hot plate. If you want to cook food, and if you want to learn how to cook food and toss an egg, well, go for it. <laughs> nope. Oh, wait, I did. And then, yes, of course, both eggs have pretty much filed within me. You can actually toss an egg, though. You can actually learn how to fry eggs, though. In fact, can I do it with just two? Ah, nah, a file. How about if I do one? Ah, not even. Okay, okay, that was a file though, but you get the gist of it though, eh? And actually, with the walk, you can actually shake the veggies. Oh no, we got a broccoli. That's not very a nice one, eh? And in fact, I should dump all of that food here. Best not to do so in reality because that's food waste. But anyways, yes, um, let's take a look at the overall detailings. Okay, so what you get there is the top piece. If you look at the detailing, it looks like it's got hobs there in where to cook food and stuff. It's fairly nice and delicious. Um, whenever I start making products like that, oh, I'm spying. Pretty nice. Um, it's also, the, you know, whenever I look at this appliance, it's basically, an, you know, Another nice appliance if you want to do some camping, of course. Can't have. And you've also got those red... Are these dials or buttons? I'd have got no idea what these are. But yes, it looks like a very nice replica of what you'd find... Um, I would just say in the electronics department or the appliances department. Or in the camping appliances department. It looks... It looks actually quite awe-inspiring, actually. And then when you're done, you can actually abstractly, I don't know, you can abstractly, you can actually do this quite abstractly by just putting all of those veggies inside. And once you're done, you can actually put all of the food inside, unrealistically, unrealistically, if that's a word. <laughs> that's pretty unrealistically weird, but there you go. That's what I'm doing, trying to fit all of that food inside. Oh, you know what? It's actually quite a great looking product. Uh, I don't know about you, but it feels like I must have been doing this toy review quite greatly, I suppose. And hey, maybe there might be more water toys this week, possibly in the theme of going to the seaside or going under the sea or anything relating to the ocean. I bet you what, it feels like March 2022 has seen a lot of coastal guff. Um, but yes. Let's just hope Easter 2022 also gets great growth and great business as well. Anyways, you're done. So, if you really enjoyed in this very strange story view, please give this video a like, subscribe for more of that videos in the future, and until next time, thank you so much for watching, and bye for now. Bye.